Eva Rose. Uh, she made uh, Maria Wern in uh, 2009, 2008, somewhere in there. Uh, she's got a lot of uh, charisma. Uh, she stands out on film. She could play the role of Sarah. Sarah is, if you don't know, Sarah is uh, the lead character. She's uh, been married seven times, and seven times she's been left a widow. Uh, the marriages aren't even consummated. A demon comes and kills her new husband uh, minutes, a few hours after the wedding. So the marriages are never consummated. Uh, someone's going to have to take care of this demon. She prays to die, but God sends an angel instead, uh, both to guard her uh, future her, her future husband. The number eight, she's not going to give up. She's uh, this whole thing has uh, maybe jaded her a little bit, but uh, she hasn't lost her faith in God, and she hasn't lost her faith. Uh, in that she'll eventually find uh, happiness. So talk about a huge character arc. And it's also a roller coaster. We're talking about seven. The first half of the film is seven Jewish weddings and uh, seven demonic murders. So uh, Tobit is going to be her father-in-law and... Uh, he goes blind. He's 80. This is all in the Bible, and I don't even really have an old uh, or a long uh, treatment for the film. I mean, I, I just tell people that it's in half the Bibles. Go read the book of Tobit. It's online. It's only like eight pages. All I did was turn it into a feature-length uh, script, uh, and I set it in the 1930s because of the uh, everyone knows what's going to happen in Amsterdam in 1941 May 1941 here come the Nazis so what's going to happen to uh, uh, all the characters are Jewish uh, one family lives in London one family lives in Amsterdam but so uh, what's going to happen uh, is Tobit's 80 he's blind he's going to die it says in the Bible uh, the Tobit passes. We can't live forever. The question is where and what are the circumstances? Uh, or is he going to die a peaceful death in his bed in Holland? Or is he going to die a uh, ugly death in a Nazi uh, gas chamber? So that's hanging over the audience as they watch the uh, wedding drama. Uh, someone asked me if it's a romance story. I wouldn't characterize it as that. I'd call it a family story. All the characters are motivated for uh, uh, their family. Tobit wants grandkids. Sarah wants a husband and children. And so putting them together in the face of a demon is going to take a little bit of uh, doing. Uh, it'll take like an hour and a half to solve this little problem. But uh, uh, Ava would be awesome in this role. I hope she's uh, either Catholic or Jewish, maybe Eastern Orthodox. Uh, they There are about 1.6, 1.5 billion, with a B, billion people who are taught this story uh, as part of their religious training. Uh, when they're young, and uh, it's never been made into a film. So I think there are that number of people patiently waiting to see this done. They heard the story uh, in uh, church or synagogue, and uh, they've read it. They know it's in the Bible, so they know the printed words, but they're just waiting for us to... Uh, render it onto film i think uh, i think it's a no-brainer i mean look at the story seven jewish weddings and seven demonic murders followed by an epic fight between a demon and an angel and this has never been filmed uh 
I like to tell people this is the greatest story that's never been filmed. So, uh, yeah, Eva would be good. You have to talk to her people. Put it out there. I don't think she's so – she's not so much a celebrity. Uh, her agents would keep this from her. I think uh, I think she's open. It's an iconic role. Who, who in film history has played a – woman who's been married seven times and each time her husband is killed by a demon it's just it's uh, it's iconic it could be her uh, ticket to uh, the big time global audience 1.5 billion people uh if her agents uh somewhere in scandinavia i guess in uh, stockholm maybe uh, but uh, call her people and see if they won't have a look at it that's my best advice. That's my only advice. She would be she'd be great. Tell them the uh, the script writer mentioned her. You mentioned her, but I approve. Yeah, in a big way. Yeah, she would be awesome. You can't just get someone to play Sarah off the bus. I mean, this is, it's, people have expectations. They have very high expectations. Uh, a Scandinavian actress, yes. Or a Dutch. Dutch or a Scandinavian. Maybe German. But uh, Ava would be t on uh, top three or four for sure. You're welcome.